Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Katuna Pro Wrestling YouTube channels. Today we are at Ichikaya Chocolate Square for a tag team action between the team of Mitsuru Kono and Sony Kamen against the team of Saiki and the Neon Ninja Fasad. We start the match with Saiki and Mitsuru. This match was from 22nd of July 2018. So you're gonna see so many match, both new and old, from Katomo Pro Wrestling Histories here on our channel. The referee is Rick Ho, become a special referee this time. Here comes the Dion Ninja Fasad and Sudi Kamen. Fan chants Go Ninja Go with his signature code. By the time he wrestled for DDT, represent a group called the Renegade. So D come in seemed not so happy. So he asked fans to cheer for him as well. Fasad wrestled a lot in Southeast Asia, in Singapore and in Thailand before. He is very good at the high flying skill and the agility. He is very good with the rope. So it's very interesting to see how can he wrestle at the Chikaya Chocolate Supreme because there is no rope here. Fasad put Swati on his knee. Swati representing Thailand. His nickname means the Thai Yellow Superhero. Look at the chain wrestling skill. So the Kamen can combine a very good strike and technical. Look at that skill. Facade locked on the side of the neck. Try on the neck lock. Goes for the full nails and Now it's transition for the best line. So the SK hit with the drop kick to the face. Nice move by Sadi Kamen. Fasad wrestled in Katumu before and he tagged with Yuna Mitsumuri. Both wear the green colors, but Sadi this time also wear the green colors. The both team from Sadi Kamen and Mitsuru Kamen. As you see, the Sudi Kamen and Miss Root team up together for a long time. So I think they are a good team. They once challenged for the Asia Dream Tag titles, but failed. So I think if they get another chance, that's going to be a good timing and we may see a different outcome. Fasa tried to take it in Saki, but Sudi Kamen still locked on his right leg and Miss Root hit from behind to the back. Mr. Root picked Fasad up. Fasad is very good wrestler. He is a world traveler. Very big experience. A lot of experience in so many kinds of wrestling type. Fasa hit Mitsuru at the side of the body, lift her up and hit the body slam. Here comes his partner Saki. Double team move, hit to the back, double F handle. Saki beat the step mare. I think Saki is very good at the tag team match. She wins the Asia Dream Tag titles with both Mitsuki and Yuna Mitsumuri. Taking in Fasad again, the Neon Ninja. From first love, audience love him. At Ichikaya Chocolate Sakura, the maximum capacity is about 70 to 80. So, oh look at that! He used the finch as the top rope and hit with a big kick. Referee Riho Kaut kick out. Fasad bring Misuru up. 
what he is planning to do. Here comes Saki again. Double team move. Facade hit with the flip senton. Saki set up the position again for the reverse splash. Really nice move. Wall assist, reverse splash. Five minutes pass in this match already. And look at that hair stand, the handstand. Look at the power. And flip for the center. Use the side of the body. Here comes Saki again. The same move. Be careful because if they are slow like this, it's a big chance for the opponent to counter. Double team again from Saki and Fasa hit to the back. Misuru from behind. But the time Misuru still like uh, wrestle for a few years. She look different compared to what she is now. Hit Fasad with the signature Sekai Valley. So they come in from the top. Hit with the forearm strike. Lorenzo but to Saki. Escape, lock, facade, and what he is doing? A leg lock. Kind of the figure throw position. Lock, Saki. It's double submission hold. Really nice move from Sadi Kamen. And in Ichikaya Shokona Square, if you want to do a rope break, you need to put any part of your body outside of the mat or touch the wall. It will be like a rope break on the racing ring. But right now, so he hit the bell submission to both of his opponent, Fasad and Saki. He released the hold and focus more on the Neon Ninja. Hit with the forearm strike. I leash with Fasad to the wall, running for the big kick and hit to the back of the head. Trust kick. Fasad hits back to the knees. Spinning kick. Very nice kick by Fasad. Here comes Saki again for a cover kick out. Saki lift off. Transition to the cross face. Be careful if his shoulder touch the mat. Saki can get the covers. Saki tried to escape, but it transition into the cross face position. Saki tried to make a reversal, and her leg is outside of the match. It becomes a rope break. Here comes Miss Rook Corner. Hit a nice drop kick to Saki. Look at that fighting separate. Sekai Valley miss. Double team. Facade with the shadow attackers. And Saki goes for a double team. Double Ben Buster lift Misuru up and a nice double team. Misuru back hit the floor. Roughly count. So they come and break the pin. Misuru is very good with her fighting separate. So she won't keep up by just double team move. So they come and help Misuru and kick to the midsection and kick to Fasa spinning Misuru leg hit. Nice help by Sodi Kamen. The yellow rangers. Double team Misuru Eilish whip and slingshot. Hit with the body press. So they come in with the covers. Bridge from Misuru referee we hold count. First side break just in time. So they come in, take facade out for the finisher, Sukumbit. Is Sukumbit Soy Samsung Top Nung is the finisher name and is the location of Katamu Thailand Dojo. So keep with the reverse splash, referee count, kick out. Look at that. 
SK from Saiki signature move. It's come to Misuru and Saiki now. Front face lock. Body snap. Saiki hit with the diving body press. Referee count. One, two, three. It's a victory for Saiki and the Neon Ninja Fasa. And if you enjoy Gata Move Pro Wrestling, please subscribe to our channel. Until next time, see you again.